Good afternoon, families, friends, Blue for Jew Jemison staff, distinguished guests, and most of all, the Blue for Jew Jemison STEM Academy class of 2020. Welcome to our commencement exercises. Although this is not our normal commencement ceremony, that does not take away from the importance of this day and our ability to celebrate you and all of your accomplishments. Each and every one of you has worked extremely hard to make it to this day and reach this first of many milestones in your life. As I sat down and began to think about what I wanted to say to you today, a number of things began to run through my head. Do I talk about how you progressed from young elementary school boys to now high school graduates? Do I talk about how your journey through attending an all-male school that had very high expectations of you? Do I talk about how you overcame the adversity of being moved to a new building in your junior year? Or do I talk about how you have overcome so much adversity as black males living in Baltimore City and the many people who did not believe that you would get to this day? I want to talk about all of these things, but I think there are a few more important things that I want to address with you as your principal. So I wanna share some things with you that I have experienced and felt as your principal. Being the leader of an all boys school is not an easy job, let alone thinking that we have an all male population that is roughly 98% African American. We face some challenges that no one will ever understand unless they are part of the BDJ family. I worried about each and every one of you as you walked out of our doors daily. I prayed constantly that you would make it home and be safe. I would stay on you and push you to be the best you could be because I saw things in you that you may not have seen in yourself. Then we came to this place of this pandemic where we were forced to implement distance learning. I was worried about how you all were doing health-wise, if your families were well, and how you would adapt to the distant learning and the online classes. Again, I stayed on you like crazy, making sure you were getting your assignments done and attending classes. I even had to have some very harsh conversations with you uh, through a lot of tough love. Many of you were upset with me, though I was being mean, thought I was being mean, and probably called me a few names, of course, behind my back. Again, we saw things in you that you may not have seen in yourself, and we knew that you had come to the end of the road and that you were too close not to finish. Now we come to today where we are celebrating you as BD Day graduates in the midst of civil unrest throughout the country. In the examples I gave above, I stressed that I was worried about you and your families, although you were here to celebrate, although we are here to celebrate you and your accomplishments on this momentous day, I would be lying if I said I was even more scared for you now these days. When we live in a country where innocent black men are slaughtered in the streets like cattle over alleged counterfeit money, when black men can't even go for a run without being shot down like hunted animals, I have always worried about you but now I'm terrified. I have thought about you all more in the last few days than I ever have. I go to sleep thinking about you. I wake up thinking about you. I'm not saying all of that to sour the mood of this celebration, but I just want you to know how I am feeling and how many of your family members, teachers, and friends feel as well. So as you progress and get ready for the next phase of your life, there are a few things that I want you to take with you. First, you need to remember that you have reached a milestone that you are now in an elite group that you can take what you can make decisions better for your future and reach any goal that you set in your mind to. Each one of you has goals and aspirations. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't reach your goals. Use their hate to motivate. Use their no's as encouragement. You will hear the word no, but don't let that derail you. Let that be gasoline to add to the fire and determination inside you. Secondly, use your voice for good. Again, as I said, we have reached a milestone that many people believed you could not achieve. You have a voice and your voice needs to be heard. You have just as much right as anyone else to do anything and go anywhere that you desire. And using that voice, use it for good to represent your family, your culture, and most of all yourself. Let your voice be heard going to exercising your right to vote and letting your voice be heard by putting people in office who have your best interests in their mind and will work for you and our people. You have to use the tools that you are blessed to have to help make this world better. Lastly, make sure that you are reaching back to the younger generation and showing them the way. Lead them to a path of success that you have reached. Be a listening ear, be an encourager, and use your mistakes and experiences to show them better and an easier way. I can go on for hours about how proud I am of each and every one of you. 
I have individual stories I could tell about each of you, but that would be here, for, then we would be here forever if I did. Please know and embark on this day, phase of your life, that all of the BDJ family and I are extremely proud of you and commend you for persevering through one of the most difficult times in the history of our country. You survived, you made it, and you now will have something that no one will ever be able to take away from you. I love you now and forever, class of 2020. Stay safe and continue to be blessed. Greetings, Blueford Drew Jemison, STEM Academy West graduates, parents, family members, friends, BDJ staff, and supporters. My name is Alicia Mason, and I am a senior advisor at Blueford Drew Jemison, STEM Academy West. I'm here to celebrate each 2020 graduating senior and all that you have achieved. I'm also applauding everyone who supported your progress to obtain your high school diploma, parents, family, friends, BDJ staff, and all those who helped along the way. Thank you. High school graduation is a significant milestone, which shows that each of you possess the talents, intellect, and aspirations required for your life to positively unfold in a way that you desire. Always strive to grow your mind, body, and spirit so that the goodness that you represent will manifest. I know you can do it. This is the evidence because you are here today. Graduates, thank you for your youthful energy and unique spirit that consistently made me smile. I'm gonna miss those moments that I cheered you on and spoke affirmations to make your day a little brighter. I hope you feel inspired now that BDJ has launched you to continue developing and moving forward. Although you are living through a unique moment in history, when a health pandemic resulted in your school building shutting down overnight, and you were suddenly faced with an entirely new expectation for completing your academic program, you did it. Congratulate yourselves for hanging in there, not giving up, and participating in setting the path for your future. If you ever feel overwhelmed, remember this moment when you overcame a major challenge because this shows you can accomplish whatever you set your mind to do. I encourage you to do the hard, messy, uncomfortable work to develop the tools to live your life to its fullest. It's worth it and in the end, I know you can make it happen because you are here today. I don't know everything you had to deal with to get here, but no matter where you started, you made it to your graduation. Your life is valuable and you have what it takes to steer your own ship. One piece of advice paraphrased from the author Alice Walker is to choose your friends that encourage you to grow. This is my advice. Always use your strength to look for and accept opportunities to be the best version of yourself. Build on your interests and be confident in knowing that your authentic self is good enough. You are capable, you are leaders, and you are valuable. In the words of A. Cabral, an African agricultural engineer, poet, political organizer, and diplomat, learn from life, learn from our people, learn from books, learn from the experience of others. Never stop learning. Mae Jemison, the African-American female astronaut whose name is the J in BDJ said, never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. You have a BDJ village and so many who care about you. And I'm hopeful that you will keep progressing. You got this. Congratulations, graduates. I'm very proud of you. Hello and good morning. My name is Malachi Maxey and it is with great pleasure that I come to you today as the president and valedictorian of the 2020 BDJ graduating senior class. I want to firstly take this next few moments to shine light on us graduates of BDJ. We have a few minutes left as seniors in high school, so I would like to reflect over our last four years as well as foreshadow what the future holds. When I say that our high school years have been nothing short of a pleasant and humbling experience, that is an understatement to say the least. Additionally, it was not only the educational, but fun, and fostered a bond that we would not have never assumed could be possible. Through the ups, downs, good press, bad, proud partners and supportive haters, we have an abundance of inspiring stories to tell. One common experience as a class we have shared in our time at BDJ is growth. Growth beyond expectation and belief 
That is an amazing achievement within itself. However, knowing our class, that was far from enough. We not only spoke success into existence, we dedicated countless hours and tears to actualizing this goal. And today we can be proud that our perseverance has led us here, graduation day. We as a unit have had our moments. However, I feel that these memories are something we wouldn't change, even if we could. We will carry with us the powerful lessons that they have been instilled, us by our teachers, mentors, and loved ones for the rest of our lives. We will have many more opportunities to show the world just how astonishing and influential a black man can be. Due to the connections and opportunities through our school that we have gained valuable skills and wisdom, peer group connections, and the Baltimore chapter of the links to name a few. These connections aside, our school has earned a number of accolades, not only from the city of Baltimore, but from the state of Maryland. Let's also call to light the fact that the city has created many barriers to success for black youth seeking education. In saying that, I would like to acknowledge that the black excellence you see before you have not only endured, but has broken the stereotype that we would be in jail or dead at this point in our lives and become products of our environments. I would like to also, I also would like to make it known that along with our persistence and passionate attitudes, we have had the amazing support of some powerful and admirable black men and women who have paved the way and modeled black excellence for us. I'm coming today to give some kind and heartfelt words to not only the senior graduates, but to our esteemed staff and families. Firstly, I would like to issue to every member of the BDJ family a heartfelt thank you. We as students appreciate all of the dedication that the entire BDJ family has given us and will continue to give us in our up and coming careers and life choices. We really couldn't have gotten this far without the help of our BDJ family. Again, on behalf of the graduating class of 2020, we thank you. Next, I would like to issue a hearty and warm congratulations to the entire BDJ graduating class of 2020. I am extremely proud and excited for each and every one of us. The last four years of our lives have been one, for one of the best roller coaster rides that I can proudly say that I am a part of. I'm sure we can all agree on that. I would like to say that our recent time as seniors during the pandemic that we are currently going through has been very much so try a trying experience, have only strengthened our bonds. I'm sure that I am not alone in finding this time difficult with learning not only during the pandemic, but the plight of racial injustice in our country. Being black youth who live in an inner city is not easy, but even with all these external factors, we have made it to this joyous milestone. These four years have most definitely been one for the books. Nonetheless, regardless of how different and difficult it has been with the distance learning, I am very proud to say that we have done an astonishing job of keeping our cool and staying on the course. Of course, we had the awesome support of our advisors and principal, Dr. Durr. We made it to this day with minimal bumps and bruises, and now we can all wipe away the sweat, blood and tears, and pound our fists in the air as we have just completely slaughtered our very last year of high school. A humongous congratulations to all of us. We have had several moments of doubt even when things were going too well. We thought it was too good to be true, but in the end, we are victorious. Excellent job, seniors. Mission accomplished. Good afternoon, Bluford Drew Jemison, STEM Academy class of 2020, family, friends, and school family. Today is a culmination of a lot of hard work, and I am sure a whole lot of prayer. As we are all aware, we are engulfed in some very troubling times in our country as it pertains to institutional and structural racism, and police brutality. 2020 has been a year for the record books and it really caused me to think about how I wanted to start my message. I found a very powerful message from Dr. King that spoke on a different topic at the time. 
but it highlighted the strength, resolve, and character of our young people. On April 18, 1959, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., along with other civil rights leaders, including Daisy Bates, Harry Belafonte, A. Philip Randolph, Jackie Robinson, and Roy Wilkins, spoke before 26,000 black high school and college students who had come to the nation's capital to demonstrate their support for the 1954 Supreme Court decision against racial segregation in the nation's public schools. This was the second consecutive year that such a march was held. The first march, with 10,000 students present, was held on October the 25th, 1958. At this time, Dr. King addressed the youth and young adults as such. As I stand here and look out upon the thousands of Negro faces and thousands of white faces, intermingled like waters of a river, I see only one face, the face of the future. Yes, as I gaze upon this great historic assembly, this unprecedented gathering of young people, I cannot help think that in a hundred years from now, the historians will be calling this not the beat generation, but the generation of integration. The fact that thousands of you came here to Washington and that thousands more signed your petition proves that this generation will not take no for an answer, will not take double talk for an answer, will not take gradualism for an answer. It proves that the only way you will answer and to settle for is for total desegregation and total equality now. I have no words eloquent enough to express the deep meaning, the great power and unconquerable spirit back of this uh, inspiringly original, uniquely American march of young people. Nothing like this has ever happened in our history of our nation. Nothing that is except for the last youth march. What this march demonstrates to me above all else is that you young people, through your own experience, have somehow discovered that the central fact of American life, that is the extension of democracy for all Americans depends upon complete integration of Negro Americans. Graduating seniors, I wrestled for days wondering what I was going to say to you because you know <laughs> you wouldn't be in my presence when I gave my speech. I wouldn't have the opportunity to see the excitement on your faces because you have made it to this milestone of graduating from high school. I wouldn't get the opportunity to walk down the aisle with you while pomp and circumstance was playing and seeing the lights flash from the cameras and hearing your family scream out your names. I wouldn't have the opportunity to look out over the stage and see you in your caps and gowns with your families in the back with smiles of pride and joy on their faces. And I wouldn't have the opportunity to see Principal Darris speak his last words of life to you as he prepared to hand you your diplomas and call you graduates of the Bluford Drew Jemison STEM Academy. I can only imagine the stress you've had to endure with your school being closed and doing your best to do distance learning and get ready for your graduation virtually. Worrying about staying safe while the world battles a virus with no cure. Facing the uncertainty of how our nation and communities will look once this coronavirus is over. But please know that I empathize with you during these troubling times as a parent of three children myself. You see, my oldest daughter was supposed to have graduated from college on Sunday, May 17th. And I know the pain she had to endure after working so hard for four years. So as a father, I feel the pain for my daughter as I do for each and every one of you. But you know what? That's okay. Even though I cannot stand with you today, I can still, I can still smile and see and know that you are now a man of history. You will forever be known as the graduating class that endured the coronavirus, that forced our nation to shut down. You will forever be known as a graduating class who watched the world finally step up after another black man was killed by the hands of the very ones who were sworn to and protect to serve us. You will forever be known as the graduating class of one of the most important elections of our lifetime. You will be known as a generation and graduating class of strength, resilience, and intestinal fortitude. The class of 2020 will be written in history books and stories will be told of how you overcame immense adversity and never gave up. Now it's up to you to turn this source of power to, to succeed at all costs. You have already shown the world that nothing can stop you from graduating. Not a global pandemic, 
Not institutional or structural racism, not police brutality, not the violence that plagues our streets of Baltimore, not a failed system that often writes off our young black men as lazy and no good. Bloomfield Drew Jemison class for 2020, I need you to know that you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation and you are a special class because even in the midst of darkness, the struggles and the hard times you've had to endure, you're now able to walk in the marvelous light as high school graduates and into manhood. And for that, Bluford Drew Jemison STEM Academy class of 2020, I salute you, your families, your teachers, your guidance counselors, your principal, and your entire village because it took an effort from all of you to make this day happen. I will leave you with the quote from one of my personal heroes that I do not want you to ever forget. Education is the most powerful weapon which can use to change the world. Nelson Mandela. God bless you, class of 2020. Go make those changes. Stand up, square your shoulders, be proud, and know that you've overcame and that you've made it, and you deserve this. God bless you. Hello, hello, hello everyone at the Buford STEM Academy who is getting ready to graduate from either their middle school going into high school or from high school going into the world of college or just going into the world. This is Samuel Smith. I just wanted to give you a quick shout out and wish you a very great graduation day. Listen, in life you're going to come up against a lot of stuff and people are always going to have something to say about whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're trying to do. But I want you to know that the most important things will always be the things that you say to yourself. The times where you're alone and you're saying, I can do it. The times when you're alone and you're saying that it doesn't matter what's going on around me, but I can still make it through this trying time. The things that you say to yourself will now and forever be the most important things that you will ever hear. With that, I wish you well. Take over the world. All right. What's up? This is Delegate Nick Mosby. I'm here to send a huge shout out to the seniors at Bluford Drew Jemison Academy. Uh, this is your ground floor, that skyscraper that you get to build. Uh, remember that you're the author of your own book. Uh, go dream big, dream often, and I'm proud of you. Greetings, this is Councilman John Bullock of the 9th District. Just wanted to reach out and say congratulations to the Bluford Drew Jemison STEM Academy Class of 2020. Uh, we are so happy and so proud of you uh, through making it through all the challenges of this year. Uh, this year has been like no other year, but you stuck to it. You had perseverance, you saw it to the end. And whether you're an 8th grader or a 12th grader, we are so excited for you, so excited for your future. Again, 2020 is really an opportunity for us to see what the future is going to be. And looking at you, it's going to be bright. It's your time to shine. We are so proud of you. We could not let this moment go by without saying congratulations. So again, thank you for all of your hard work. I know that your families, your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, family and friends are so proud of you, as am I. So again, you guys are the future. God bless you all. Take care. Hello, this is City Council President Brandon Scott. I want to wish the 2020 class of Bluford, both uh, those who are leaving middle school and going to high school and those who are graduating from high school, a very, very big congratulations. Uh, thank you, young people. You have made it to this important portion of your educational career. I wish we could be having this conversation in person, but we know that the coronavirus has changed our world forever. Uh, but also, young people, I always like to say, 
not just congratulations for young people who are, are graduating or moving on, uh, but to also say thank you. Thank you for believing in each other. Thank you for believing in yourselves. And thank you for showing the world that they're wrong about Baltimore's young people. For showing us that you do want better for yourselves, your community, and our great city. Uh, we know, young people, that you have survived something that no other class before you has had to deal with, with changing school from being in person to being virtual over the past few months. And we know how hard that has been for you, but understand it makes you stronger. And we already know that young people in Baltimore are the strongest young people in the world because what we have to live through in Baltimore makes us some of the strongest people that the world has ever seen. Know that the next level is going to be a little harder for you, know that going into the world of work or going off to college is going to be harder but i know that you can continue to do great things we know the challenges that we are facing in the world with the ongoing uprising about a racial inequality but know that it's your generation is that who's going to fix it racism will not be wiped out unless you do it a new system that be built for all of us and not just some of us will not be built unless you do it and last and most importantly injustice and poverty will not be wiped out unless you do it. I believe in you. I know that you can do it. I know that you can change the world to make not just Baltimore, but the entire world a better place. Congratulations again, young people, and I look forward to seeing you do even greater things as you move on. Thank you. Jerome Barnwell. Ion Cooper, Senior Class Vice President. Jordan Gentry. Craig Guest. Jeremiah Johnson. Malachi Maxey, Senior Class President, Valedictorian. Devin McDonald. Marie McDonald. Dyer Shields. Rashad Stokes. Yvonne Thomas. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as the principal of Blueford Jew Jemison STEM Academy, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2020. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by Principal Durr and by the authority vested in me as Instructional Leadership Executive Director, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Jeremy Grant Skinner, Chief Human Capital Officer. Hello, Blueford Drew Jemison community. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal and the acknowledgement of the Instructional Leadership Executive Director, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as Chief Human Capital Officer of the Baltimore City Public Schools, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2020 
for the conferring of high school diplomas.